So early stage, a tip for you bomb guys, very few people can do the hook when their flat back is flat on the ground. So if you can hook my foot, see how he turns. So tip for you bottom people trying to remember this skate, you have to lock your body to like a 10 degrees off the ground. To it. And then as he gathers in, so your warning sign now is, it's, it's too tough a block, I can't rip it out. He's gathering, my, he's figure forward his legs. The danger now is that he, my knee, knee lifts off the ground. With my knee off the ground, my weight is off him and he has the freedom to swallow the knee, yeah? So, what we're doing, he's gathered my leg and you are, Try and stay as heavy as you can on that knee. So he has to really fight to get it off, all right? Now, remember the concept where the twisting body concept, look at his legs and knees pointing that way. So a very nice way to deal with this is to find a way to make his shoulders flat and his face turn away. So there's a nasty version and there's a less nasty version. Let's do the nasty version first. So with my knee parted, that's not going anywhere. I'm gonna collar, rip it over, push down, lean in. And then he's gonna let you. I can't remember. Did Sandy teach that last week? Yeah. He did something similar. Yeah. Yeah. This is my version. Yeah. <laughs> so the reverse. It's called a reverse cross face. So look, my knee's already off the ground. <laughs> if I try this with my knee off the ground, Dean's still gonna do his thing. See? If my knee is planted on the ground, and I'm ripping there, and then I'm projecting forward. I don't have to get my leg out, he's going to volunteer, he's, he's going to, because he's kind of twisting you up and he's just not nice, having your leg twisted like that. So I'm going to show you two versions. So once again, we're in three quarter, knee planted, I'm putting all my weight there. This time, remember I can't rip this, this is too strong, but I can cross face with this arm here, and I must make sure his head is turning the other way, and as an extra bonus, if I can get the underhook here, I've got everything I want, finish. Okay, so you've got two ways, you can project forward, do this one, here. So he's got the quarter guard, but I'm keeping my knee heavy. All right. But, uh, interestingly, by him turning, it gives me a glimpse of his back. Just going for the back, you have to tie up all the bits. What you need to do is get rid of this arm. Because this is normally defending either as a frame here, or he'd be defending here. So what we can do is we can try and fake a little choke here. He'll instantly try and, that's it. And his elbow's now in front of my belly. Pushing here, and we've got the seatbelt grip. I've got half of what I want. The next stage, you can't see the camera, I'll turn around on, is I want to get my knee as high up and my shin angled to his spine. So from here, and here. And then head up, and then we'll release. So it seems simple, but if you, do, if you don't tighten up the little bits, you'll go around the back and he'll flip out and then you'll have lost it when you that one. So let's look at it again. Um, we'll do one more from this angle and then we'll change so you can see what we're doing. So I've got this knee heavy. Now the key thing is I can't just change to go my back. Oh, I'm just going to flip back and look, it's, I haven't got any contact. I need that contact with him. So I'm going to use this to try and do that. Good. He's moved his elbow to defend. I'm using that to advance. All I want is a seatbelt grip which allows me to progress my chest my chest wants to touch between the shoulder blades, ideally. Most important, I want to get my knee high and the shin line touching his, just like you would take the back from side control. Remember, we don't pull backwards. We lift his head up to the sky and then we're here before the back control. So we spin the angle around so that uh, this. So Dean gets that. I keep my knee heavy. Pressure him so his elbow comes in front of my belly and I use my belly push his arm away from me and I get a seatbelt grip. There's also the option of a canoe grip, short grip round. Now, here's the thing I want this knee here and I want my chest touching between the shoulders. So I sink down. Now I lift up. Now, if your leg is still trapped, don't worry. <laughs> Just start attacking. Believe me, he will let go of his legs. Then you can start. And that's basically, it's like three steps. But it's easy to miss any one of those steps. Basic back take from the mount. Okay, one, two, three. Let's go.